Hello, welcome to another lesson in Excel 2007. In our last one, we looked at the if statement. And in this one, I will complicate the if statement just a fraction, and then I'm going to add a nested if, which for some of you may be hard to follow, but if you stay with it, it'll make sense. Let's pick up where we were in our last lesson. We were creating a formula with the if, so that if the salary was greater than $60,000, the person received a bonus of let's say ten thousand dollars. So I'll click. In, I can click in any cell. I clicked in the top one. It makes no difference where I click. Come up to logical. Choose if, and up comes my little dialog box. Okay, if the value in this cell is greater than or equal to sixty thousand, and give a ten thousand dollar bonus. Now last time I put zero here, but this time we won't. Now, if the value is less than that, that means it's just that. It's uh, 30,000, 40,000, 50, 58,000, etc. If that's true, then what we will give is a $5,000 bonus. And once I have that in, I click OK, and let's look at this. You see $10,000 for the higher ones and $5,000 for the lower salaries. There's a higher one, it's over. And as these will change later, for instance, if this person a year from now dropped down to 59200 see what happens? Changes automatically. Now what we want to do is complicate this a little bit. And not to be purposely that way, but to show you the power of what the nested if will do for you. Here's what we're going to do. If the salary is greater than $60,000, we'll give a $6,000 bonus. If it's greater than fifty thousand but less than sixty thousand, we'll give a five thousand dollar bonus. If it's anything less than that, we'll give a twenty five hundred dollar bonus. A little bit different, isn't it? A little bit more complicated, but Excel can work it out for us. Click on Excel, come up to Logical, choose If. Fills it in for us here. If this value is greater than or equal to sixty thousand, no problem so far. Correct, we've done that. Then let's give a $6,000 bonus. I'm doing this so we can line it up easily. Now right now, we're going to click OK here. And it's got some false here. Don't worry about that. Press F, F2 or go inside. You could have clicked up here inside your um, formula bar. Now right here, there should be another value right there, a false value, correct? Watch what happens when I press comma. Watch value of false become bold. Now what I'm going to do is come up to Logical and choose If again. I'm going to put an If statement for my entire false value. Now we've already put in 60,000. So now if this value is greater than or equal to 50,000, because we've already done the test for 60, it's out of the way now. 60, 50,000, there we go. Give a bonus of what? 5,000. Now, if that's false, I had a comma there. If that's false, what do we do? That means the salary has to be less than 50. We've already covered greater than 60. We just covered greater than 50. So what's left is everything else. So at this point, we will give a bonus of $2,500. I'll choose OK. Now let's go through this. 6,000 for over 60. Same, same, same. Under 50. Under 50. Between 50 and 60, which is 5, over 60, and over 50, and over 50, but less than 60. Filled in just fine. Later on, as the salary may change, for instance, if this became $48,000 in a particular year, it would drop. Or conversely, if it became $60,000, it would go up. Control Z, go back to the original. Now, let's go up and look at the formula for a second. I'm going to click right here, for instance. And you see the formula right up here. I want to show you something. I'm going to highlight. First, I'm going to click right here. And you see bold, a little help here, put the logical test. When I click here, this is the value if this is true. Now watch when I highlight the entire if clause. It's actually, this whole thing here is the false value of the original if. And then it has two parts in it. So by putting an if inside of an if, we have a three-tier decision tree. You can also put an if inside of this one. And then inside of that one, you put an if. How many ifs can I go to? Seven is the guideline. So, there we have it. I'm going to hit Escape here to get out of that. You can have a simple if, 
which is very powerful because it really gives you two values that you can use. And you're not limited to numbers. You can put another formula inside there to do some other sort of calculation, maybe a sum formula, perhaps a lookup formula. There's a number of ways to treat the if statement. By putting numbers, putting formulas in there, putting words in there. For instance, let's say I'm really nasty. This is nasty time. I would never do this, but this is nasty time. I'm going to put a string here. Work harder. Now somehow, I don't think that's a winner. But that I'm trying to illustrate to you. You can do all kinds of things inside the if statement. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And we will continue with more common functions in the next one. I'll see you there.